there are a few little specks of snow. You can kind of see them, like tiny, tiny little specks of snow. So we just woke up, it's our last morning here. And I was seeing on um, Instagram and everywhere that it was snowing. And Alex was like, why is it always snowing where we aren't? And now it's snowing outside, so there you go, Al. Well, barely. Imagine Not if enough. it's like fully snowing in Hove or something. I don't know, <laughs> but I saw um, Zoe Ariel, her, she lives in Rome and she just put up a vlog of snow in Rome and on her Instagram. Look, it's so cool. She, it's like five in the morning and then she goes down to, um, she goes down to the Colosseum. Because like, when would you ever see that? Look at that. Hey, that's cool. Isn't that so <laughs> cool? Like, I feel like this is like once in a lifetime chance of seeing something like that. It doesn't snow in Rome, Italy, does it? I don't know. I can't imagine it's somewhere that snows. I'm sad to be going home. Oh. Should we stay another day? We could, but a bit late now. I asked you that yesterday and you said no. No. <coughs> Got to go back home and work. It is snowing. It's trying really hard to snow. Mm -hmm. I can't quite. Um, yeah, I've got stuff to do because I'm going home this weekend. Alex is also going away this weekend, so yeah, it's a shorter week again. I feel like it's so rare. It's so rare for us that we have a week. Monday to Friday, weekends off. Monday to Friday, and then yeah. weekend at home. Like <laughs> every like last week, last weekend was the only like one of the only weekends. Mm. I reckon we but probably even then we worked over the weekend because of other because weekends. of other weekends yeah. eating into our week. So like, I think realist, I would like to add up how many weekends we've actually had in Hove. Mm. It's not been many. Yeah. It's been, I think, at, um, at the most, like four since moving. Because every single week we go to London, we go to Cornwall, yeah. we go away. We, I mean, I'm not complaining. I understand it's like, well, really I like fun. It. it's always something to look forward we've to. We've always had lots of fun and things to do. When you think back, it's like, oh. Yeah. I just like a couple of days to, I don't know, do nothing at home. Yeah, I kind of wish that there was like a week or like at least like two or three weeks where I didn't have anything planned for the weekend. Yeah. But it just always, it's just, I don't know, there's, there's, there's literally been like weddings, there's been birthdays, there's been going home to Cornwall, there's been going out to London, there's just been so much. I was thinking there's not gonna be much over the like next month, but then we want to go away and then it's Tom's birthday and Charlie's Charlie. birthday. And, and Alice's birthday. Oh. <laughs> sometimes we... I think, do you know what, I sometimes wonder because I don't actually have a lot of, I'm not someone who has like loads and my hair is crazy, I look like, okay just ignore, I've just got up. You have no friends basically. So I have like a handful of friends, like maybe like three or four friends who I see regularly and then my family and then obviously your family and that's kind of like it hmm. and I sometimes wonder how on earth do people keep up with having a huge circle of friends that they see all the time because I, like we are busy all the time just seeing those people, hmm. you know, like with cops. I guess if they live in the same city as them, I suppose it's probably easier. And if you, I suppose, because I'm like working by myself. If I was working, if you worked with your friends, yeah. or if you were in the city and you could see them for drinks and yeah, stuff. Yeah. But yeah. But still, I know. I don't know how people like. I can only manage like keeping up with that many people. We sat down and organised a routine. Yeah. Ages ago, and it was it was when I was in the routine of Monday to Friday videos. Yeah. Which is quite tough. So we did Monday to Friday and we'd have Saturday off completely. Yeah. But we haven't done that in so long. Well, we have because we go away and we don't do any work. I know, but a lot of the time because we're going away, we film on like Saturday. Yeah, true. So it's funny. <laughs> You're right, yeah. It hasn't really happened. No, it's really hard. It's really weird when this is your job because yeah. this weekend obviously is off, but we're filming. I actually don't view vlogging though as work. I find it fun to no, vlog. It's the editing that's the, um, yeah. the work. Yeah. Um, I like this because it means I can remember this and I can watch this back when, mm. um, you know, I like that. Um, it's kind of different. I, w I would love some time to not be doing anything. And it's just unrealistic though, isn't it? You know, this age. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, no. when you're busy. But I suppose it's good because it means I'm balancing work and seeing people I love. So yeah. that's fine. And this weekend I'm going home to Cornwall because uh, my sister's going down because she's got a dentist appointment because it's way got cheaper to one. get her teeth done in Cornwall than it is in London. So we're having Mother's Day this weekend instead just because it makes sense because she's down anyway in Cornwall. So she wouldn't come down the following weekend. So I'm going down as well and we're going to have like a nice little Mother's Day weekend. And then Alex, where are you going? I'm going to Newcastle. To 
see some friends from university and to have a few quiet drinks and then to come home. So, yeah. I don't know, will I vlog and will you vlog? <clears throat> they wanted me to vlog. They did? Your yeah. friends? But I didn't know if, if they wanted like a dedicated vlog for them. And then I, I could always do like... What did they say? I think they discovered that I had a YouTube channel. Yeah. And they said, can you please vlog the weekend? I thought it'd be nice to have like a memory of it. Yeah, definitely vlog. But I think but what you should do is I'll vlog as well. Yeah. And then you'll just vlog whatever you want and piece it together. Yeah, well I figured I'd vlog whatever I wanted. I'd keep because there's free stuff that wouldn't normally go in like a normal vlog. Yes. That I'll keep for like a video for them. Um, and then I'll have other footage. Why wouldn't it go in the vlog? I don't know if it's just us like being rowdy in a pub. Well, you're not. Why would you be? Come on, just film your weekend. And I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Line. Yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna film everything over the weekend. Yeah. And and I'll also film in Cornwall, so we'll go back yeah. and forth. Well, and you should check the timestamps and compare the chilled weekend I'm having at home, <laughs> relaxing yeah. with the dogs, with your rowdy yeah. weekend. Please don't be too rowdy. No. I don't want late night phone calls <clears throat> at 4 a.m. of oh. you really drunk. No, I Because that, that's what happened the last time Alex hung out with these his friends. Um, but that was uni. in Munich. He was in Munich at Oktoberfest and every night I got a phone call like 3am, 4am, like multiple phone calls constantly. Mm. Him wasted and him lo he like lost his phone and then he was messaging me <clears> from <throat> his friend's her phone and ringing me from his friend's phone. And he was by his, you were by yourself at one point and there I am by myself in the middle of the night thinking, God, he's going to die in a ditch because I'm a warrior. A what? Warrior. A warrior. All right. I'm a warrior. <laughs> I'm a warrior. <laughs> No, but I worry and like I hate that. So just if you're gonna get drunk, don't call me. <laughs> I'll try my hardest. I don't want to hear about I'll it. Put I my want phone on airplane mode. Yes, please. <laughs> right, we've got to get packing. Mm. We've talked for eight minutes. Okay. Good luck it... editing this. So the end Unless, of the vlog. just That's leave it. it as a raw, unedited clip because it's fun. That's the end of the vlog. All right, see, see you tomorrow, guys. Look at that. It really doesn't come out on camera, but. It's snowing. Do you see? What the hell? It's February. So we're all packed up. I think we have everything. The only thing that's left is the ice cream. I'm not getting that just yet. Because Alex is still putting the bikes in the car. Everything. Bye bye, house. Everything's gone. Um, yeah, so I get paranoid about leaving things. It's really cold outside today, just like yesterday. Um, but yeah, I think we've got everything. Let's turn the heating off. Okay, everything's switched off. And yeah, I'm sure Alex will come back in to check anyway. I will go and help him do the bikes. Bye little house. I've had to get in the car because it's too windy outside to chat and too cold. But now begins the funnest part of packing, which is always putting the bikes on. So let me show you that. Fortunately, I thought ahead and just left the uh, bike rack on. That's about half the, half the effort's getting this attached on properly. So, perfect. Bye bye little holiday cottage. Bye bye. Alex and I were just commenting, like there's the old, I guess, edge of the cliff and then there's this incredible building here and then there's this horrible thing in front of it. A tacky gift it's shop. It's crazy that they've been allowed to build that. Yeah. Like I'd been mad. Because it, it looks like an old building. Yeah, it is I an old building. I don't know why they would have built it in the first place. What the hell? It's like Brighton, kind of. It Look at all this poo like all over the window. <laughs> I'm going to have to get the car cleaned. There's the pier, pier of the year.
Home sweet home. <sighs> right, let's see what they've done in the bathroom then. Oh, whoa, it looks so bright. They've painted everything. It smells like paint. It feels so bright in here, like it's really made a difference. Cool. And then that, um, they were gonna put that in today, or this weekend, but she ordered the wrong size and it didn't fit, so they're gonna get another one. Oh my gosh, it feels so lovely in here. Oh look, there's an extractor fan. Does that go on then? I forgot about that thing there. How exciting is that? Yay! It's not loud either. Quite a quiet one. And now I'm going for a wee because I'm bursting. <laughs> it's time to unpack. Might do a time lapse for you. snowing properly outside in Hove. This is not somewhere that it snows because we're by the coast. Can you see it out there on the floor? Actual snow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can we just appreciate this masterpiece that I just created? So Alex had leftovers and you're not a fan of these meals, are you really? Well, Too healthy. Not, not for dinner. I, my favorite thing in the world are like Buddha bowls like this because I just absolutely love combining like loads of different flavors. So just just so you know, I might do a recipe video on Buddha, Buddha bowls because I just love them so much, or like rice bowls. So I've got quinoa, sun-dried tomatoes, chickpeas, shredded carrot, cucumbers, lettuce, rocket, broccoli, hummus, these cipollini onions that we got from uh, Terra Terra the other day. And then the dressing is tahini, lemon, soy sauce, ma and maple syrup, and a bit of sriracha, and then all topped with some seeds and there's some leftover dressing, and they're just my favorite thing to eat. And when it comes to like intuitive eating, like I have really learned that my, I just absolutely love eating gigantic, like Alex was shocked when I brought this out, because it's so huge. I just love eating gigantic bowls of food like this. It just, I, oh, it's my favorite thing to eat. Um, and if I had one thing I could have to eat for the rest of my life, it would be this. Mmm. It's because there's so many flavors. And it just makes you feel so good afterwards. Mm. Oh, I just love it. It does smell very good. What's the sauce? Tahini and... Taste it. This week is Eating Disorder Awareness Week. And this reminds me of back when I was doing like WSLF and high carb, low fat type of diet. And I used to deprive myself to the point that I wouldn't put a dressing on my food. I wouldn't put tahini on my food because I thought that that was going to make me fat. And that, that mm. wasn't good for me because I, I don't know, I just had this idea in my head. And I've just been loving recently just having, like making loads of dressings and I've never really bothered doing that since going vegan. I have a mouthful. I mean, I would sometimes, but just not regularly. I just put like sriracha and lemon juice and maybe some soy sauce on top, but I'm really loving making like tahini dressings, olive oil dressings, that type of thing, because it just makes oh. it taste so good, doesn't it? Mmm. And that tastes good. Yeah, that's good. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing a video about the way things have changed for me this week. And um, so stay tuned. Don't know why I thought about that. I just it, just it was just reminding me of a time when I used to make rice bowls all the time, and I would avoid having avocado and avoid having tahini. Yeah, and I would avoid hummus as well. Yeah, I would even avoid hummus. Yeah, it just makes me sad. I mean, I I wasn't like avoiding it to the point of like extremes. Like, oh my gosh, if I had it, I'd like feel really bad. It's just generally, I just kind of try. I just generally not follow. Can't stop eating this. <laughs> I just generally wouldn't eat it um, because I thought, oh well, you know, that's. A fat, and I need to keep my diet low fat. It's just nonsense, really. Mm. I've just seen my hair. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this is magic! <laughs> Alex, it's so quiet. Oh my gosh, look at the sky. It's completely silent. It's snowing. Hey, let's get the bag. Oh, there's cars. <laughs> Not quite enough for snowballs yet. Maybe in the morning. Oh my gosh, can you imagine what's going to be like in the morning? We did hear that there might be like a snowstorm. The beast from the east. There's something really magical I find about snow at night time when there's like 
uh, street lights. Yeah. It feels really like magical. <laughs> Look at the recycling. What? Your hair! Have I got it all over me? Your, hat. Your hat's covered in it. <laughs> yeah. Didn't we say earlier in the vlog, like, oh, it never, it never snows yeah. at home. It's not going to snow. I know. It's got to be really cold to snow. Snow here. makes me so happy. Because of the sea air. Oh my god! I haven't ever lost that picture. What did you do? Well, it just froze. Oh. Maybe it's the water. Oh dear. No, it's fine. <laughs> I hope you leave that in. <laughs> Oh my god, that was so dreamy. Can we open the blinds so I can look at it? Like, you know, like, an, old like an old woman. <laughs> open the blinds, dear. <laughs> I want to look outside. Oh my god. Oh, we need to wipe it down with the window back. Where is it? Window back. I want to watch the snow outside. It's so magical. I love snow. I know some people don't like snow. I, I just love it because it just makes me feel cozy and it just feels magical. I mean, if you probably live in a country where it snows all the time, like in the winter. So there's some people don't like it because it's like cold, obviously. It's properly settling out there, look. But yeah, I just find that snow just is like, it's just like a blanket of coziness. It looks like it's really slowed down now. Oh my gosh, it looks so magical. If we wake up in the morning and the snow is like that, can we wake, can we wake up early? And then go outside if it's if it's still like that and go for an explore because I just think that'd be yeah. so fun. I kind of want to wake up early before like everyone gets out there. And let's wake up at seven and go explore because that would be really fun. Oh my god, I want to just stare at it. I wish I could stay outside, but it's just so cold. It's hard to stay outside. I was making tea and I heard. I'm sure I heard someone outside go snow. <laughs> and that's the only reason I looked outside and I saw this like. Yeah, we flag. would have like woken up to yeah. like a magical. Like, I guess if it stays. Yeah. Although that that amount of snow. I can't see why it would. Yeah. Melt at this temperature. Yeah, from my experience, when you have, you can always tell when snow is going to settle and it settles straight away. So because that settled straight away, because I was outside like a, an hour or two ago then that means it will stay and it's going to continue. We could, we could go on a bike ride. Because it's like that thick pieces of snow, isn't it? Yep. I'm sorry I'm talking about snow so much, but I just get so excited. It doesn't really snow lots in England. It snows really like randomly. And when it does, it's quite a magical thing, isn't it? Yeah. Why? Oh, I want to look, to sit down. I want to look at the snow. It's already, you've just bloody window backed it and it's already steaming up again. It's because it's so cold out. Speaking of it being really quiet though, we didn't, I, I don't know if we filmed that when we were in the street. Yeah. And oh my god. You nearly got run over. Because it's snowing like this, we stood in the middle of the street. I mean, I know that it's the middle of the street and that's not great, but a car was coming, so I was like, oh, I must get out of the way because I could hear it. And I then it zoomed it. past me. I didn't hear it till really late. Yeah, because it's, it was cause it's so snowing quiet. and it was really quiet. And then it, it suddenly w went like around us because we were kind of like on the right hand side of the street. Yeah. And it like zoomed past me. And if I'd stepped one step further, it would have run me over because he didn't beep or like honk or. Which is what I guess you would usually do. No. That was scary. I'm not saying it's his fault, because I mean I was in the middle of the street, but like it was a bit a bit scary. He was going quite fast down that road. Oh my gosh, I want to just stare at it all night. I want to go back outside, I feel like I'm missing it. I think it's because it happens so often when it does, I feel like I need to make the most of it. So I need to keep on looking and I need to like go out and enjoy it. Oh my gosh, it's so magical. I can't get over how magical it is. Right, I'm gonna Relax now and just watch the snow outside. <laughs> but yeah, good night. We'll see you tomorrow to see if there's any snow because we're going to have to vlog. We weren't going to vlog this week much because we vlogged the weekend, but if it's snowing yeah, tomorrow, we well, I mean, if it's snowing tomorrow, we're vlogging <laughs> because that is a memory to keep. Interesting opportunity has presented itself. Yeah, and um, this ice cream's the best, and I'm going to enjoy it and um, watch some YouTube videos. Good night. Thumbs this video up. Let's make a vote in the comments down below if you think it's going to be snowing tomorrow and if we're going to wake up in the next vlog and it's going to be snow. All right. I guess you'll probably know from the news if you live in the UK, but um, if you live in America, <laughs> maybe you, you won't know, so the suspense will remain. Bye. You think I'm weird. Why do you think... I'm sure everyone's like on the edge of their seats waiting for the next to see if it's Of course it's they are. Good night. Good night. <laughs>